hello everyone my name is chidalo welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this crochet braid kinky wig it's a synthetic wig so um don't expect it to last long if you plan to do it and i'm sure you can also get human hair weaves that you can also use to create the same look but for now i use this particular um, free tress wig to make mine and i really loved it so i'll be using the free tresses braid this particular style is called jazz water this is a 12 inch um style and for now i could only find it only on amazon i couldn't find it on aliexpress or anywhere else guys so this is what it looks like so i already used part of this particular pack to make the closure so i'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like so it's a free tresses hair it's single you can use them as crochet braids to make your hair but i chose to make mine into a wig because i prefer wigs they last longer and more comfortable i don't know how to ventilate but i have someone who is really good at it and she did my ventilation for me and guys it was beautiful i think this is beautiful most beautiful part of this particular hair for me the closure was very very neatly done guys like if you get your closure right you done half of the job guys so yeah let's get into that hair so you of course start with attaching your closure to the wig cap i always try to make my wig cap very tight by measuring my scalp and sewing all the extra inches so that you know my wig cap is exactly the size of my head and of course after attaching my closure to my wig cap i started crocheting those hairs into the wig cap guys so that is basically what i'm gonna do till i have all the hair on the cap yeah sorry i didn't show my face when i started um it was a busy day for me you just take your foundation brush and go in of course to give it that natural look when you wear it yeah yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. i always like large volume weights really like so I'm a kinky, anything kinky and afro is my thing. But for a few years now, I just abandoned that project. So me, I don't know why. I abandoned that project of my high volume weights. But I am so excited to finally make a new one. And this banger is better. Because this time I was able to make a ventilated wig out of it, guys. I mean... You know, making ventilated wig came after COVID because, I mean, the girls got to look good, you know. One, then two. The prices of um, closures skyrocketed. I remember in those days, this half closure we used to buy for like 3K. After COVID, 8 inches was like 15,000. 10 inches was like 17,000. 12 inches was like, like that. So... People, in fact, people will literally buy human hair weave-ons and then they will use the human hair and make ventilated closures or front towels for their hair because who has extra 50k to buy a full front towel, you get? Anyway guys, so yeah, and the person that did this one did a very, very neat job. Like, this is one of the 
finest closures I have bought in a while. Like it's so neat. Even in between, even now that I wanted to use this one for my wig, I almost wanted to use it to do a braid wig because it's so cute. Anyway, so yeah, um, we have painted or colored the lace wig. Let's put it on. Did I mention it's uh, crochet? So you can see it's not soon. And crochet wigs, you you go wear and tire, and you go tire, you know. And you go tire because nothing like losing and stuff and then this guy you can't wash it because it is kind of a, a human hair blend it doesn't take heat and I, I wouldn't recommend using so much water on it so I actually just used most hair mousse I'm trying to bring out the curls on this part because we had to separate them while making the closure so it's now looking straight but I know that it means that if I brush these coils out you know this is what I'm gonna get so I'm gonna get even more volume but I think I like this way so I'm not gonna touch the ones under so let's wear it okay guys so yeah um, I'm about to wear this wig so let me just share a few tips before the video ends I'm going to recommend that if you can find human hair um with or let me say a kinky hair with better texture all those ones that are not full synthetic if you can't even find it in human hair great because this hair is so beautiful it hurts that it's synthetic because you know how synthetic hair is it becomes it begins to sponge and all that so I'm definitely going to recreate this hair with a better hair texture so that is one recommendation that I would give but aside from that I love the complete look that I got and I really enjoyed wearing this hair I still have it somewhere even though it's not what I'm wearing presently so let me know if you would like this hair or if this is something you would wear so these are my final looks these are different days that i wore this particular hair guys what do you think i think i slayed each and every look yeah apart from this i wore them without makeup it was really cool working this hair so guys this is the end of my video thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comment section how did i do rate the hair over 10 and please don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye